Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brawlbusters video. This time we're going to be looking at some unreleased content for the game. Because it turns out, there's actually a decent amount of stuff that just was never released. I'm guessing it was all planned for the next big patch, but it's hard to say for sure. Some things are more polished than others. Pretty much everything in here would require at least some additional polish before it was ready for use in-game, if we even did use any of it in-game. But anyway, let's go ahead and start with the most interesting thing that I've come across so far. Have a look. So you can Pretty cool, right? That was the sure you can. Each class has one special move that was not released. The Shoryuken in particular is really cool, because it complements Boxer extremely well. I always remember thinking it was weird that Boxer's special moves were both slow-moving projectiles that weren't very useful and competitive at all, but the Shoryuken seems perfect for Boxer, and it's a shame that it was never fully released into the game. So, some interesting details about Shoryuken. It has knockback armor on it, just like Blitzer's Touchdown. However, unlike Touchdown, it actually activates on hit, or on touch I should say. Whereas Touchdown always comes out after a certain amount of time, uh, Shoryuken will actually come out sooner if you come into contact with an enemy. Alright, up next we have Slugger, and this move is called Smoke Bomb. While Shoryuken seems like it would have been very very good for Boxer to have, Smoke Bomb I'm not quite as sure about. I definitely like the idea for the move. Giving Slugger a way to escape a rushdown character seems like a really cool idea. I'm not sure if it would have been very useful though, because you're only invisible for a short period of time. But on the other hand, that short period of time might be just enough for you to actually start running in a different direction and escape. And some things to note about this move, as you can tell, it's pretty unfinished. Um, it functions perfectly fine, but there's no model or texture for the smoke bomb itself, and there's no smoke effect that comes out when you turn invisible. And a couple more interesting things about this. Unlike the chameleon item that you can get, this does not guarantee a crit on your next hit. So that's probably something that could have been really overpowered, but this move does not guarantee a crit. And the other thing is that the move itself does have a hitbox on it, so if somebody's standing right next to you, they will take damage. I think this one might look a little familiar to you guys, if any of you played Infection back in the day. As you can see, it's Demon Rock Spin Move. This one's called Whirlwind. This one seems mostly finished, except for the fact that there's no sound effect for when you're spinning. And just from looking at it, you might be thinking it looks pretty broken. But there are some key differences between this and Demon Rock's version that make it probably not even the optimal choice right now. So, just like Demon Rock's version, it does have armor on it, but the big downside to this move is that it doesn't do any hit stun at all. So, even if you're hitting someone with it rapidly, they can actually attack you at the same time and they don't suffer any hit stun. And of course, the damage output is considerably less than Demon Rock. But the one cool thing that this move has that Demon Rocks didn't have is the ability to jump during the move. Uh, at any time during the move, you can jump and continue to move around with it. And in addition to that, it has almost no end lag, whereas Demon Rocks had considerable end lag. Moving on to Firefighter. This one is called Big Rocket. It currently uses Slugger's special move as a placeholder, so I'm not entirely sure what the final version would have been like. However, I do think it's really cool that they were going to give Firefighter a ranged special, since uh, both of their special moves currently are static. They have the walls and they have the mind balls, which are both really good, but giving them a ranged option for a special definitely seems like a nice... Um, a nice thing for people to be able to have if they want to. And apart from that, there really isn't much for me to say about this move. Um, it does good damage, because it's Slugger special. But yeah, uh, the animation looks cool. I can say that much at least. 
All right, for the last one, we have Running Back on Blitzer. So this one is probably the least interesting in my opinion, just because we already have two Blitzer specials that involve rushing down your opponent. And my guess is that this probably wouldn't be a great replacement for Touchdown if I had to choose between the two. Uh, the main reason being that Running Back does not have armor, and it also doesn't have AoE. So you have to come into contact with your opponent to actually do damage. And you can hit multiple opponents. I think the main upside to using this move would be that it's just much faster than Touchdown. You can initiate the move really quickly, and then as soon as it's over you can go back and do a run. There's not really much end lag or startup on it. Alright, up next we have something pretty interesting. This is an unused item. The Ice Shield. For the duration that the shield is up, you are completely immune to damage. However, you can't move at all, which leaves you pretty open to attack as soon as the shield goes away. It's also important to note that while you're in the shield, if you get hit, you still will have your regen reset. And it was kind of hard to tell while the enemies were attacking, but the shield doesn't go away from damage, it just goes away over time. So the ice shield is the only unreleased item that actually still functions at all. But there are some other ones listed in the game files that seem to have been planned. Uh, they're listed as Attachment, Big Bomb, Fireball, Plaster, and Iron Box. Now, obviously, I'm not really sure what these would have done. My best guess would be that Iron Box is just a stronger version of the regular box item. Big Bomb sounds like a stronger version of the regular bomb. Plaster might even just be a stronger version of the jelly item. Fireball and Attachment don't really sound like any of the other items. They're probably completely new. So, I had mentioned before that there was gear that was just never released in our version of Brawl Busters. But there's actually also a set of gear for each class that wasn't released in any version of the game. Again, I'm pretty sure that this was planned for the next patch, because some of the gear has certain issues um, that I'll get into in a minute. The Slugger set seems to actually be just fine, but uh, some of the other sets of gear have certain graphical issues. The unreleased set for the Rocker looks fine, but once you actually get in-game, there's a very slight graphical issue with it where certain parts of um, the clothing just don't show up right. Like, there's a weird kind of um, transparency issue where you can see through your character, sort of. Um, but for the most part, it looks fine. Then we have the set for the Boxer, which is pretty cool. You have this neat hoodie here. And for the girl, the clothing works fine. Um, it's when you try to equip the hoodie on the guy character that there's a kind of small issue with the hair clipping through his face a little bit. It's actually not that noticeable unless you zoom in. But apart from that, the Boxer's on release set seems fine. The Blitzers on release set is actually probably the most buggy out of any of them. It looks okay here when you're in the menu, but when you get into the game, it's really bad. Like, half of your character is not even visible. And it has something to do with the fact that for some reason the lower part of the clothing is considered like a full suit. Like, it tries to equip the top part even when you equip just the bottom part. And then the last set we have is for the Firefighter. This one's pretty neat, there's a little light on the helmet there. And um, not too much to say about this one. You may have noticed that some of these on-release sets kind of feel familiar. It's because we've actually seen them before, just not ever in the actual game. Some of these were shown on website art. Um, like I know the Blitzer and the Firefighter's clothing here has been shown in art before, so kind of interesting. 
Okay, so there's just a couple more things I want to talk about really quickly. So you may remember that every weapon had a little perk that came with it, like attack against user 2%, attack against zombie plus 4%, or defense against zombie plus 4%, or obtain item 10%. So you may also remember that clothing had an empty slot, and I'm not sure if they ever planned to actually add the perks to the clothing, but they seem to work just fine. Like, you can add any of these weapon perks to clothing as well. So, I'm not sure if that would even be a good idea or not, but it would certainly add a level of customization that wasn't there before. Um, and it was something that I thought was pretty neat. And then one last thing that I think is worth mentioning before I leave. It seems like they were actually going to have taunts in this game. There are four, I think four, slots in the animation file, uh, one of the animation files, that are labeled Emotion. Emotion 1, Emotion 2, Emotion 3, and Emotion 4. And then there's also um, voice clips for all of the characters that are just them laughing. There's actually multiple laughing voice clips for each character. So I'm pretty sure there were going to be taunts. I tried swapping out some of the existing animations with the emotions, and they don't seem to work. But I really wish this game had taunts, that would have been awesome. And for now, I think that's enough. Um, if I find anything else interesting, I'll definitely make another video, if there's uh, a sufficient amount of stuff to show. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.